A great use of the swing solver is to work on your basic motion. Basic motion is called that because it's just the basic of a good golf swing. When I, when I set up my swing solver, I need to get it at the right shaft angle. So I step on this and then I can just move this in and out, set it at the right shaft angle in seconds. Basic motion is used for two things. I use it for short shots around the green and I use it to work on my impact position. The golf club is designed on an inclined plane at an angle, so when I swing it back, it has to swing up on that angle. The head is designed to swing down, compress the ball, and then go into the grass. And finally, the club face should hinge, so I can hinge it this way for power, or I can hinge it this way to have the ball go high and stop around the green. So when I practice my basic motion, it's two feet back, two feet through, and I start out without using any wrists, no body, and just working on these alignments. I love to work on my follow through here where the shaft is still on the, the face of the board. That's the correct swing plane. My left wrist is flat, and again, I hinged it horizontally I like to have my left arm and my shaft in one long stick. I don't want it to be, to be broken at all. So I use the swing solver in two ways when I work on my basic motion. First way is I put a ball and I'll just rub my shaft across the face of the swing solver and just pitch a few balls, no body, no wrists, basic motion. No body, no wrists, basic motion. If I want it to, I can bring the ball out, do a couple of practice swings, working on the basic. Maybe I'll add a little impact fix here rehearsing my impact, come back to set up, do a couple of practice swings, then walk in, do my basic motion. If I needed a little more power, I could add a little bit more body, hit the ball harder. Now I can work on some wrist cock. Again, just adding more power. So now I have a little body, a little wrist cock, add some power. I can hit full shots out of the swing solver. So now I can take my basic, go back a little bit further to acquire some more power, but still work on my alignments. Then finally I can work it up to my total motion. If you're going under the swing plane, you'll hit this. If you come over the top, you'll hit this. So this gives me that nice area to swing through. If I'm hitting the swing solver here, I'm swinging too much out to in. So work on your basic motion and you'll really improve your golf with your swing solver.